Hey everyone, good to see you again today. It was a dark night as Jesus and his disciples walked into what we know as the Garden of Gethsemane. Twelve of them go in, eleven disciples and Jesus himself, but not all of them would walk out together. For that night, Jesus would be betrayed. That night, Jesus would be arrested and then put on trial and be crucified the next day. But before any of that happened, Jesus takes three of his disciples and goes a little bit deeper into the garden and he spends some time in prayer. And after each prayer is offered to his Father in heaven, he, he finally ends by saying, Thy will be done. As Jesus prayed to his Father, he asked, Dad, if there's another way to save all human beings, can you let this cup of suffering pass? But not my will, but your will be done. It, it's a line that we often pray to, Right? I think of the Lord's Prayer. Thy will be done, thy kingdom come. But sometimes I think it just rolls off our tongue so easily that we don't give it much thought. Because just as Jesus asked the Father to let his will be done, we ask our Father to let his will be done too, but Jesus actually did it. The will of the Father was to go and suffer and die to rescue us from sin and death. But all too often when, when we pray that, either we do it kind of quickly and we don't think it through, or we don't add that to our prayers. We say, Lord, help me here. Lord, can you do that for me there? Can, can you help me out of that tight spot? And not that we can't pray like that, but we often forget to put on the end of our prayer, not my will, but your will be done, Dad. And so as you go through the reading, as you see Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane praying, for the Father's will to be done, and then we see him going out and carrying out the Father's will. I want you to think about how you can have that kind of confidence and how you can pray that way too. That no matter what you face, God's will be done. Because God's will was done by Jesus who saved you, and God's will is to watch over you, to love you, and protect you all the days of your life. So that no matter what you face, no matter what prayer requests you take before the throne room of God, you can be sure that because of Jesus, his will will always be done in your life in a way that's best for you, eternally, spiritually, and in your walk of faith. Enjoy the reading. I pray God bless you as you do it. Till next time, have a great day.